Hey everyone, we're Mark and Sheila, and we move to KL, Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia from New York City. Today is our ninth day here in the city, and we are actually apartment hunting. The goal is to explore the different neighborhoods here so far until we find a longer-term apartment. So we actually checked out the Bukit Bintang. I like the neighborhood. Yeah. I love the building, actually. It was, it was really good. One problem was when we asked the agent if it was pet-friendly, they said... No pets allowed. We checked out four buildings, but uh, before we got into that, we searched on iProperty for agents. We also asked my friend CJ, who used to live here in KL, he recommended his agent. Sheila ended up finding another agent. So what are our requirements? Number one has to be dog friendly. We're not leaving our dog Alexa behind. She's right now with mom, my in-laws. So, and our budget was 4000 uh, RM. We, didn't, we don't want to go over that. Also, it would need to be close to work or close to public transportation. Also, at least one bedroom. At least one bedroom for sure. And the first building that we checked out is Novum. Uh, which is two bedroom, two bath with balcony, uh, 876 square feet. It was 3,700 ringgit. What did you think of it? The building itself from the outside looks very tall, pretty new looking. Um, just a, But just going in for the most part, I just didn't like how dark it felt. It was, it was furnished, it had a washer and dryer. The gym was pretty good. One of our wishes was for the gym to have a squat rack. Uh, it also had dumbbells, and again, it was walking distance to the office, which is a good thing. Yeah, it's actually located in Bangsar South, where mm -hmm. Mark is going to be working at. It had really good amenities, actually. The recreation areas and lounges, then the yeah. lounges. It was very spacious, very open, and it's actually very breezy, which is a big plus. The only thing is they did say that pets is sort of a lot, but it wasn't really mm -hmm. specified because they did ask us to put... Um, our dog in a bag when we're going from our apartment to outside like through the main um, shared spaces or put her in a stroller which is just I don't know for me it's just impossible because our dog mm -hmm. loves to walk it had signs of wear already so like the lounge chairs look it showed some mold or like dirt if you just look at the unit itself I think it would be a good place I just didn't like that whole possibility where it is technically allowed but it really depends if your neighbor complains you know you might have a problem which is a red flag yeah so then we checked out the next building Verticus which is very dog friendly and we did see people walk their dogs and there were actually some big dogs that people were walking in front of the building yeah, which right. was a big plus to us so both units were too bad two bath 4300 and 4500 rm 1400 square feet so very big much bigger than the novum unit that we checked out uh what did you think of the the units um so from the outside i liked how the building looked it looked kind of new but once you go inside you could tell that building is a little older than we would like to be so we went straight to the unit first it was just not really well maintained there were a lot of like marks in the wall there's actually a lot of water marks oh, yeah. um like leak marks near leak the bath marks, yeah. yep. um for both units actually there's just so much wear and tear to the area and I'm, but my main concern really it was just that there's some um, possible leaking not moving condition in my opinion there's just so much damage to it in my opinion and we would have to do a lot of work to make it livable for us and there, just a letdown because yeah, it's very dog friendly that's yeah. the only thing it was very spacious it's just no it was just way too much work the location was good though. It, yeah. it is in Bukit Bintang, so lots of uh, food options. Yeah. Uh, really close to Jalan Alor, which is a famous uh, street food place here. A lot of bars and restaurants there. Mm -hmm. And the train is only 15 minutes walk if you yep. can stand the heat. <laughs> and know. there are those uh, scooters that you could uh, rent out with an app if you don't want to walk. The price is 4500 for mm -hmm. what you would get. It, I don't think it was worth the price, but you are paying for the neighborhood, which we love a lot. So the next building that we checked out is the state actually two units there uh it's 960 square feet different style this is a, a studio duplex it's located in Bankstar south which is very close to work i love how new it is i love the facility it has great amenities it gives off the luxurious feel for it and um we saw a video that's advertised that it is um, pet friendly so it's mm -hmm. a big plus for me we don't have to hide alexa or have to put in the strollers i love the gym actually it it's actually the biggest gym oh, yeah. that I saw in the apartments that we visited. 
It, it was pretty complete. And, and there was a badminton. <laughs> a badminton. I'm gonna learn. I used to be really good at badminton. I'm gonna I'm gonna practice, and <laughs> that's probably gonna be my sport while we're here. So First scene, it was higher, higher floor view of the park, uh, furnished. And furnished, yeah. Uh, the second unit was unfurnished, uh, lower floor, and you get a view of other buildings, but we, which yeah. isn't so bad. Yeah. The furnished unit had a better view. Oh yeah, and as balcony. The balcony is yeah. huge. The balcony is huge. huge. That would be probably my garden space, my little urban garden. Yeah. And there's actually a little park at the bottom mm -hmm. that our dog can walk. And I did like the the top floor amenities as well uh they had a lounge uh which looks so good i'm planning to shoot uh videos youtube videos as well it looked very good for shooting b-roll oh and there's a yoga room a yoga a room. really yeah, big right. yoga room and i don't think we even have to make appointments for that one yeah you could just use yeah. your card go in yeah but it's 4800 way above our budget uh for the furnished one and then 4000 for the unfurnished one. And it's close to, to work. Yeah. Well, not walking distance, um, yes, but you can. Uh, you can walk 18 minutes. 18 minutes. In the sun. Yeah. If you go early enough and if um, it's right. a cloudy day, you can walk. But over here, the average minutes. temperature is 90 degrees and it's the humidity that can get you. Uh, so Goodwood is the next building. Oh, yeah. Which is actually also in Banks or South. Right, right. Good and location. just across from your job. So close. It's a newer, newish building. Yeah. Uh, this one was huge. It was four bedrooms, two bath, 1,400 square feet, uh, 4,500 RM. Really nice. I love actually the furniture that was chosen. It's just the right size. Everything was proportional. And I love the color um, scheme. I actually like the way mm. they chose the tiles. It was like a matte color, just very soothing to look at. And since it's four bedrooms, like we can each have an office uh, in the house or a walk-in closet, closet for you <laughs> or use one for storage. Yeah. The kitchen is a little weird though. Kitchen has a separate door. So I guess they would call it like a wet kitchen. Mm -hmm. And you guess when you're cooking, you could close the door so that the smell doesn't go inside the house. Yeah. It was pretty it was big good. though. Yeah. It was a big space. It wasn't very close to other buildings. So like when you're looking out the window, it's totally fine. You're not looking directly yeah. into a neighbor. I like it. It has pretty good facilities. It had like three jacuzzis, um, mm -hmm. an outdoor pool. One con I would say is the building right next to it was also, they're still building it up. So like if you're swimming, you'll see it right away that they're building um, the condo right next door. And the dog policy. Oh, well, the, yeah. owner, cool. the owner herself didn't mind having pets in the unit. Right. But the uh, building itself has a no pet policy, so you act, I, we have to hide her. And it's the same principle where it's okay, but if your neighbors complain, right. then it's going to be a problem. So that's like a theme that we, we found while apartment hunting here in KL. Most buildings are not dog friendly. But they did say that some neighborhoods like the KLCC, Banks Sar, and like Bukit Bintang, which is just the main place that we've checked out, mm -hmm. um, not very dog friendly. But if we go to Mount Kiara and um, Desa, Desa Park, Park City, yeah. yeah, Desa Park City, they're more dog friendly over there. Mm -hmm. Since we've been here for about, what, nine days now, I haven't seen any dog walk in the main city itself. There's really no dogs here. The pros for that is that you don't see dog poop. Yeah, we don't streets. even have to worry about <laughs> if we're going to step on one. <laughs> yeah, so those are the, the buildings that we checked out. Uh, let us know which apartment you liked. We actually made an offer. Crossing our fingers. Hopefully kind of excited. Very, mm -hmm. excited. Very excited. All right, follow us for more Malaysian videos. Thanks. Hi, thank you.